Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making a heavy duty metal material. Let me show you what it looks like and then we'll get into it. All right, so this is the material. It's a lot more simple to make than it looks, so let's get into that. Okay, so we're gonna be opening up Blender 2.8 and to view this, we're gonna be using the EV render engine in the look dev mode, so you don't have to worry about render engines for this. So let's go and add in a object. It doesn't matter what object you want, but I'm just gonna use a standard sphere, well, icosphere, and I'm gonna subdivide it and I'm going to shade smooth. All right, up here we're gonna utilize Blender's presets up here, for so we're gonna click the shading icon and then hit Z, go to look dev. And we're gonna change a couple things here. I'm gonna go up to the shading on the world. I'm gonna bring down the background so we have a nice black background. And then up here where it says render engine, switch to EV really quick so we can turn off bloom if you don't already have it on and turn on screen space reflections and ambient occlusion. All right, so in the shader editor, we're gonna click new. We're gonna make this principled metallic and we're gonna darken up the metal just a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is a bump node. And we're gonna plug the normal into the normal. And let's go ahead and add a wave texture. Wave texture, plug the color into the height. And now we have this. Really quick, we're gonna need two nodes. So we're gonna need a mapping and a texture coordinate node. Texture coordinate, all right, take your texture coordinate and put the object node into the vector. The object plug is very important for this. If you're gonna add this material to any other models, then it'll be evenly distributed on all the models you add instead of your texturing the specific model for the specific scale. So put it on the object mode if you plan on using it for other things. And we'll take the mapping and plug it to the vector. All right, and then we're gonna take these two. If you, if you highlight these and click G, you can move multiple things at once. And we're gonna position it here in the middle because we're gonna use this quite a bit more. So now let's take our bump and bring down the strength a bit, as well as let's add a color ramp right here. And we're gonna utilize that just a minute, but let's bring up the scale and let's bring up the distortion. So now we got this cool stuff going on. Now, I don't like how these look like little hills. They sort of slope up and slope down and come to a point. We want it to be a flat top. So we're gonna take our color ramp and just bring the white this direction so it flattens up this top area. So just like right about, I'd say right about there. That looks pretty good. Now one thing we need to do is change this up. This is clearly a wave texture for other artists seeing this. You want it to look like a piece of metal and not some organic thing. So we're gonna add something on the vector line of our shading here. And the vector line is this area right here. So we're gonna add a noise texture and plug the noise right here. And it's gonna do all this crazy stuff. Now we, we don't want it to be that much affected. So we want, so what we're gonna do is add a mix RGB right here. And we're gonna plug the original into the color too. So what this is gonna do, if you look at the factor, if you bring the factor all the way to here, it's using this, it's using this plug right here. But if you bring it all the way here, then it's using this one for the noise texture. So we just want it to affect it a little bit. First, let's bring up the detail on our noise and let's have it affect it some. And so what you can see is now in these little areas right here, you can see it's starting to add some detail in there and adding some really fun stuff, but it's not completely affecting it like that. So it just adds some detail in those areas and makes it less obvious of a uh, wave texture. So now we have this, and I'm gonna bring the scale down of our thing right, right, right about that, and that looks, that looks really good. Now we need to add our nice big dents. So we need to add another bump node. So put our bump here, plug the normal into the normal of this bump node, and let's add a Voronoi. Plug the Voronoi into the height. So now you can see it's affecting it pretty heavily. All right, I'm just gonna take these and bring them a little bit closer here. And let's take our object coordinate here and plug it into the vector so that it evenly distributes it. And let's bring down the strength just a bit. Change distance to Mikowski. So now we get this stuff right here. First, we need to add a color ramp to limit the amount of dents that are shown. So there we go, the 
kind of messes it up in that way. So you can sort of do that and it does some really nice things, spreads them out and you can take the scale and give it more or you can give it less, just like that. So we have a problem here and our dents are sort of planar. You can see how it's just like one plane, plane, plane and a bump here and we want to add some detail. So same process that we did here to add some detail in our wave, we're going to add some detail in our Voronoi. So same thing, we're going to get a noise texture, plug it here, and you can see it messes everything up. Let's bring up the detail. So let's get a mix RGB, plug it right there, object coordinate, plug it into the color 2, and as you can see, just like the other one, bring it all the way over here, it's planar. And then as we scale it over, you can see all this detail being added to the bumps. So just, just like that. And we can play with the strength to make it a little more extreme so it's way more noticeable, just like that. Or you can make it way down here, whatever you want to do. And this is the heavy duty metal material. So there you go, you made a heavy duty metal material. If you want more of these tutorials, I'm gonna have a series for them, so subscribe for that, and thanks for watching.